G'day everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing a vintage glamour shoot this afternoon with a bunch of photographers. They're coming in to get a bit of experience, um, get the chance to work with three different models. It's one of the uh, new little Sunday sessions that I've just started operating here at the studio. So this is the first one. It's going to be great. Um, but I thought I'd just run through this groovy little bit of kit from Aperture, kindly lent to me by the guys at KL Australia. Uh, this arrived the other day, so I haven't had a chance to use it myself yet, but uh, just thought I'd talk about it. It's an LED light, um, which comes with a Bowens mount. So typical S-type Bowens mount. So accessories are really, really common, which is fantastic. Pretty simple to operate, just a bayonet fitting. And what comes with the kit is Obviously the case, which is fantastic, beautiful case. Nicely padded. The unit itself, the standard reflector. The power control unit, which is separate to the head. And the big advantage of that is it keeps the noise from the head down and keeps it cooler as well. So it runs a little bit cooler than uh, a lot of other LED lights. It also comes with the power block itself and the cable to run between the power block and the control unit. So this is the Aperture 120D. The D stands for daylight, 6,000 degrees Kelvin. They also make a 120T, which is the tungsten version, which is uh, I think 3,000 degrees Kelvin. Um, I'm gonna put links in the, in the bottom of the notes under the video here so you can uh, check out all the specs. I won't go too much into detail with it. What I really was keen to play with today and which is gonna suit the vintage glamour look a lot is this Fresnel adapter, which is available for the crazy price of $65 through KL Australia. Fantastic little unit. It's focusable, just got a little knob on the side here which unlocks and then you can focus the unit out. So that obviously the further it's focused out, the narrower the beam is gonna be. So we're gonna have a bit of a play with that. We've got one of the models for the uh, session this afternoon here already, Lucy. And we're gonna uh, run through a, a little setup now using the 120D with the Fresnel head and do some test shots so we're ready to roll for this afternoon. So one thing I forgot to mention was that it does come with a remote control. The remote can control the power output from up to 100 meters away. And you can also control the individual units um, through a combination of groups and channels. Just going to put all this gear together now. Just going to plug in the main control unit to the power block. And then plug the cable from the control unit into the head itself. The light's approximately two meters from the wall. I'm just gonna start the power from 10% and just up to 100 and we'll just see how that uh, spreads across the wall. That wall's approximately three and a half meters wide. So you can see a definite hot spot, but it uh, does spread across the wall. It's gonna switch over to the Fresnel adapter now. You can already see how much difference that makes to the spread of the light. This is with the Fresnel at its uh, widest point. And again, just powering it from 10% up to 100. Definite circle of light on the wall there. Switching over now, just gonna zoom it out to its uh, narrowest point. And you can see the difference that makes doing a few light meter readings. Really interesting to see the difference of light output across the center of that circle. Starting from the edge from around a 250 of a second and then going 
to one thousandth of a second right in the middle. This is at 200 ISO at f2.8. So before we get Lucy in, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to throw onto the background. And this is a, an old tungsten light that I've had for years and years. It's a low DP. Um, it's quite a strong tungsten light. What I love about it is these fantastic barn doors, which have, can create some really cool shadows. So I'm going to throw this on the background on the red wall, and that's going to create some really cool, interesting sort of patterns just to break up the, the straight uh, red wall. Okay, so there's the tungsten low DP light on the background with the barn doors creating a nice little pattern. So that's gonna be our background for this shot. And we're gonna use the Aperture CDOB 120D with the Fresnel on the front just to light up Lucy's face. The idea of just throwing this on the background is just purely just to break up um, so we just don't have a plain uh, red wall behind us. So let's um, set up the shot, we'll get Lucy in and we'll start doing some test shots. Alright, so we've got Lucy in, in the shot now. We've set up uh, both our lights, background and our main light onto this face. You can see that pool of light on her quite nicely now. I'm shooting on my uh, Fuji X-T2 at the moment with the 50 to 140 f2.8 zoom. I'm just going to do my first little test shot here. You can see we've got some no shadow coming across Lucy's face there. If we just angle her face back towards the light, that disappears. Now the best way to have that no shadow is to have it actually coming into view underneath her nose. So if we raise the light a little bit higher, angle it down a bit more, then you'll start to see that no shadow coming in. There's that no shadow coming in now creating a bit more of like a butterfly type light. Just coming in for a much tighter shot now, just really focusing in on Lucy's face, her hands and uh, necklace and earrings. have a look at some of the shots in the back of the camera make sure they're good and I'm pretty happy with those lighting's looking great okay well I'm pretty happy with that setup and so we've nailed that down for the session this afternoon I'm sure the other photographers are really going to enjoy shooting Lucy in that lighting setup thank you Lucy for stepping in and helping out with this and um, signing off now and we'll talk to you again soon